Yo guys, what is happening? And I'm welcoming you to the channel today because I want to talk about Black Ops 4 Zombies in particular and give you guys my very first, well, very early first impressions, hence me calling this a first impression video, not a review video. I, I can't understand how several YouTubers, even some YouTubers who I actually enjoy watching, are actually doing reviews of a game which has literally been out less than 24 hours. I know some of these guys, you know, get review copies and stuff, but nonetheless, you know, you can't review a game until it's probably been out a week at best, maybe three or four days if you're constantly on the game. But anyway, my first impressions of Zombies this year is it's basically what I expected, guys, and that is good. For once, okay. I didn't expect it to be, you know, better than Black Ops 3 Zombies this year, because I think you can't really get much better than Black Ops 3 Zombies. You know, that is how highly I thought of that video game. But what I can say this year is that I'm fairly happy with Zombies. You've got four maps on, day well, sorry, you've got three maps to play on day one, unless you buy the Black Ops Pass straight off of the bat, and then you can play the other map. So let me start talking about what's different this year in Black Ops 4 Zombies compared to Black Ops 3. The, the general gameplay is exactly the same. This year they've got different difficulty levels, which I think there's no place for difficulty settings in Zombies. I think that it should just be one difficulty level because then it makes it a lot easier for people to gauge how well they've actually done. So there's four different difficulty settings, starting off at ca Casual, which is the lowest, going all the way up to Hardcore, I believe. Um, and obviously it scales in difficulty from one to the other. So that is the first major change. The second major change is they've kind of messed around with the perks now. Um, you've got some classic names in there such as Quick Revive and um, Stamina Up. But other than that, pretty much all the perks are new. This is first impressions video. I'm not going to break anything down. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I just want to give you guys a general overview of what has changed. So, the four maps. You've got Voyage of the Undead. Oh, sorry, Voyage of the Dead. Sorry, beg my pardon. This, sorry, Voyage of Despair. God, I'll get there eventually. Sorry, guys. If you're new here to the channel, I do everything live in one take because I want to get across to you guys in no biased you know opinion or videos here you are getting exact exactly what i think so there's no script here there's nothing for me to work on it's coming straight from the heart straight from my brain so you guys get an honest unbiased opinion about you know black ops 4 zombies and this is what i pride myself on on youtube is being completely honest regardless if people disagree or agree with what i'm saying i'm going to be honest so the first map this year which is a brand new map is voyage of despair this is kind of on a boat um i haven't really played this map much to be honest so i can't really say much i've had a couple of goes on it i get a bit motion sickness because the corridors are all messed up and it's weird you guys will understand if you've played the map um i'm sure other people don't get motion sick but when i'm playing that map it makes me feel a bit sick to be honest but yeah overall it looks like a decent map like i say first impressions i've played it a few times it's fairly enjoyable um, um, however, I haven't unlocked, you know, I don't even know how to pack a punch on that map yet, so I can't really comment in detail. Now, the second map um, is Blood of the Dead. Now, anybody who's played, you know, some of the older Call of Duty, is this is basically a kind of a remake, so to speak. It's not an exact carbon copy, but it's a remake of the um, popular, or at least I thought it was popular. I enjoyed it. It's sort of the Mob of the Dead map um, set in Black Ops 2. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely Black Ops 2. Sorry, guys, but like I said, I don't do scripts. I've got to remember this all off the top of my head. Um, the layout is slightly different. You know, you start the map at a part of the map which was added. So when you get to this part here, this is obviously on Mob of the Dead. But where you start, where you spawn, you spawn at a different area of the map. Um, so at first I was like, oh, this is cool, and then I'm like, oh, right, okay, it's Mob of the Dead. You know, which was a pleasant surprise because I actually enjoy this map. Um, so anyway, moving on to the next map. Sorry, I've actually missed one out. There's a map called Nine, and this is really, really weird. It's kind of quite cool. It it comes across as an extremely complicated map. So this one is going to be one of the most popular maps, I'm sure, you know, when people kind of figure out how to do everything. Um, like I said, I could have gone on and watched other people, but the kind of whole special feeling of zombies for me is figuring out stuff myself. Now, if I haven't figured everything out in six months' time, I will then go on and start watching other YouTubers who have figured this out. But for the first six months, I'll try to figure stuff out on my own. 
Um, so anyway, so this one is set in Roman times. Um, it features a new team of heroes. You know, we've never seen these before. It's not like Richtofen. God, I can't even say the name. Or Dempsey. You know, like you've got in other you know maps on this game. But basically, you're starting this kind of gladiator ring. Um, and then after a few rounds, you know, you've got enough points and you can explore and go on. Like I said, guys, first impression video, I can't really tell you any more than that. It looks quite a funny, funky, cool map. Um, something which hopefully I'll be bringing you gameplay on that map um, once I've figured out everything. But like I said, you know, I've come on and spent most of my time up to now playing the new Blood of the Dead map. Or should I say, <laughs> loosely new. And um, there's new parts to this map. But anyway, so that is pretty much the three maps. And then the fourth map, which I think is a complete scumbag move, is already locked behind a paywall. Now, what kind of a game can release on day one and already have day one content locked behind a paywall? This just isn't good enough. You know, a video game gets released, day one, you expect everything in the game, what's already there to be accessible, but no... Activision and Call of Duty being as it is, they've actually locked a remake of um, the map 5, um, which is, well, they've called Classified this time. So basically, guys, it's, um, which was this? This was the first Black Ops, yes, and it's set in the Pentagon. Um, this map is available, but yet again, you, you know, you've got to have the Black Ops Pass to get day one content. So you've bought the game on day one, and then there's already content locked. You know, that isn't a good thing to do. Um, you guys all know by now who subscribe to me pretty much my thoughts and opinions on Activision and how they're a bunch of scumbags who basically rip people off. Um, yes. So that is pretty much my first impressions. If I was to give you guys a kind of a score for Black Ops 4, which is very difficult to do so. So I'm going to say if you look at Black Ops 3 as a 10 out of 10 um, for zombies because literally... The only thing I could say bad, bad about Black Ops 3 is the Perkaholic system, um, which is obviously in this game again. They've just renamed it, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, I'll probably give this 9 out of 10. I don't think it's quite as good as Black Ops 3 Zombies, but I'm sure once I get used to the new mechanics in the, si in the game, obviously you've got the perk system there now. You've got grenades where they respawn, um, so you... You can throw them and then instead of finding them or buying them off walls, you know, as wall grenades or anything like that, claymores or whatever, they recharge over time just like you get all get a special weapon. As you can see there, it's on the bottom right corner of the screen. Whenever I want to use that weapon, I just press Q on my keyboard because I've got it on um, PC. But if you guys have got it on console, I'm sure it's another button. You guys, you know, let each other know in the comment section. And then you can see I've got four other abilities on the three, four, five, six key button. And they do different things. But like I said, guys, first impressions. I'm not going to go too detailed into anything. So, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, all I can say is that I'm excited now this year for Zombies. Or should I say for the next three years, guys. Because we all know that we're going to pretty much be playing, you know, Black Ops 4 Zombies until the next Zombies come out. Regardless of um, what the other development teams do with Zombies, you know, in the meantime. Because, let's face it, you know, Treyarch are definitely the best Zombie team, you know, in... Well, actually, they're the best team, guys, just because they invented zombies and it's their thing. And whenever developers try to copy Treyarch doing their thing, they just can't, you know, make a zombies game as good as what Treyarch can. And I'm yawning, guys, because I'm doing this video very late. Beg my pardon there. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people has been asking me, am I going to cover multiplayer? Am I going to do a video about that? I might do the odd stream of multiplayer just so... You know, you guys can see me raging, but I have got no, no kind of, there's nothing in me what makes me want to play Blackout as it currently stands or multiplayer. You know, this year multiplayer, I couldn't give two shits about multiplayer because basically it's just not how a Call of Duty multiplayer should be. Um, without going off on a tangent here. Until they make multiplayer have rewarding kill streaks and get rid of all the specialist new friendly weapons which can kill somebody, you know, after they've got 10 kills. Um, and so, until they've got rid of that kind of gameplay, I don't really want to play multiplayer. And as for Blackout, I'm going to do a special video on that one, so I don't really want to tell you guys too much. But yeah, these are my first impressions. I will have a re review of zombies once I've played every single zombie map to a point of where I'm comfortable. Once I can pack a punch and do all the easter eggs on every single zombies map this year, I will then be happy to do you guys review. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. If you are new here, if you've not seen any of my videos before, if you're interested in zombies, you want to see more zombies content, 
please leave well sorry please subscribe to the channel that would be absolutely fantastic but if you don't want to do that if you'd be kind enough to leave a like that would be fantastic so thank you for watching guys um i hope you're all excited for zombies just like i am but until next time thank you for watching and have a great weekend everybody goodbye for now